That's your name now. You're not even a bat. You're a cat. Hey guys, Gorgon Gaming here, and welcome back to another episode of Power World. I wanted to focus mainly on not killing pals. I actually wanted to focus on getting some more and hopefully getting some good levels. But the main pal that I'm hoping to get today is possibly the Tombat, because we have an ore rock located in the base. And it would be handy to have a Tombat so that he can mine the stones and also the rock. Sorry, the stones and also the ore rock. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. Getting a Tombat and getting just a variety of other pals if we can. Oh man, what? this fox does not want to get caught. I just want to level up, bro. Come on now. Cool. So I've got some arrows currently being crafted back at base. It's probably worth doing another workshop to be fair so that I can have some of the spheres being crafted at the same time. But, you know, when I run out of that I'm going to try and focus on getting some of the spheres created as well back at the workbench. Always good to find another sphere lying around. Ah, there's an egg down here. Do you think we'll make it? Let's see. Yeet! Oh, yeah, that counts. What's this? A verdant egg. Interesting. Oh, you geezers, careful, you're gonna drown. You're too small to be running around in there. Man, this is a very open space. I feel strangely at risk here. Oh, what's this? Teleport? Yeah. And a uh, life monk effigy. Okay. What's this here? There's got to be something up here, surely. Ooh, is this a teleport? Sealed realm of the frozen wings. Oh, okay, it's a dungeon. Let's not get into that right now. We can definitely look at that soon, though, hopefully. Come here, get ourselves a cute little cremis. Oh, no, you're gonna die! Oh, damn. Now, come to think of it, I think you can find Tombats at the Fort Ruins. I could be wrong, but I'm gonna head that way. I'm gonna try and find the nearest fast travel point if I can, preferably a new one. But I'm gonna head towards the ruins and see what's around there, because I haven't really looked around there properly. Okay, so there's another fast travel thing over there. Fuck, I've run out of arrows. Just as well I'm near a uh, fast travel point. I'll go grab those ones that should be done now. After I've grabbed everything from this here little ruin. It's pretty nice. Power spheres, excellent. Life monk effigy. How many have we got now? F. Got enough to get the next level. Perfect. Increased capture power. That's what we'd like to see. Right, I did say about building a second workbench. One for arrows, one for power spheres. I think that would be a good idea. Whilst I'm here, I'm going to try and grab us another one of these, because they're pretty good for wood. Much better than the monkeys. Go on, chill it. Get in there. Ooh. No, thank you. 11%? Could try and grab that as well, the night wing. Ooh. Oh, nice. Sweet. Right, let's grab this night wing. I don't know what the night wing does. Oh, other than blow wind. Oh, I make friggin' tornadoes. What the hell? Get wrecked, son. Oh, what's he doing? Come on, we got this. Yes! So it carries newborn pals to its nest to raise them as a surrogate parent. Oh, that's cute. Oh, wait, once a baby's fattened up, it hunts them. That's morbid. Super morbid, bro. <laughs> there's, there's a pal called a Thwack. Man, I wish I had any Thwacks to give. I need to get me one of them. That's perfect. Oh my god, I found the Thwacks. I need, I need so many thwacks. Dude, 
Oh, man. Come on. Don't let me handle it. We're going to end up killing all my thwacks. Yeah. Mm, that was a close one. Come on. Give me my thwacks. Using its own body waters, power can create waves anywhere. It body surfs when in a hurry, but resulting speed often ends in a fatal collision. It's because they don't give any thwacks. Oh man, I want to get the Mammarist, but I can't. That dude will kick my ass. Got a couple Mel Packers. Have we got any of them? I think we do. Oh, come on. Let's just get one just for the hell of it. Oh, nearly. Oh, look, they've got some little hedgehogs. Need a couple of them. Yes, okay, we've got one. Oh, mate, we've got three of them already. Never mind, this one can just die. But these are cuties. I need one of these. At least one. There we go, got one. Got, looks like we've got some thugs around here. Trying to be horrible to these little pals. I'm not having that. A burly merc. I haven't encountered one of those yet, I don't think. That's okay, we've got to chill it. Oh, oh! Are you... Wait. Why are you guys fighting each other? I'm confused. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! Keep your shotgun shells to yourself, dude. You're coming home with me. Man. <laughs> that was so unnecessary. Unbelievable. I've just found out Tomcats aren't around in the daytime. They're only around in the nighttime. And I keep calling them Tomcats. What I mean to call them is Tombats. So, just for the hell of it, I'm going to go ahead and build an egg incubator and try and get some of these eggs going. Um, I picked up one that looked quite interesting, which was the, the Verdant Egg, whatever that means. Right, Verdant Egg incubating seems very comfortable now i don't know if it you know has to go near a fire or anything or if it's all self-contained but i'll just put it there why not okay our egg is ready to hatch Let's see what we get a cinnamoth sniffing its scales produces a feeling of unparalleled euphoria okay so it's a drug moth thing what can it do? That's the real question. Cinnamoth does planting and medicine production. That's it. Possible drops honey, lettuce seeds and wheat seeds. Okay. So let's stick the large common egg in there and leave that be. Whilst we crack on and do some other stuff. A few moments later. Man, why am I being attacked by these who crates all of a sudden? You don't want this smoke. Come on guys, stop. Mate, there's just a giant friggin' war going on, out of nowhere. Just capturing a whole bunch of pals, because why the hell not? Oh, are we going to be able to do it? Let's try it. Take our chances. Sweet, a dinosaur, a pal who once enraged cannot be pacified. It rages on and on like an inferno. Um... Oh, you're rescuing. I wonder what the hell was going on over here. Poor chicken. Thanks for rescuing him. Okay, it's night time. So we need to get out there and find some of those tombats. Wherever they may be. Oh, shit. Dude, leave me alone. I'm just trying to climb. Oh, no. Oh, nice. And there was a reason I came up here. I'm having no luck finding any of these tombats. Honestly, they just don't seem to be anywhere. Right, there definitely should be some around here, but it's going to be bloody... De oh! Yes! Finally, we cannot risk this. 
No. You are coming home with me, and that is final. Against your will. Oh, I don't want to risk it. Let's try. Come on. Yes! That is the main goal of the episode complete. So we can use this Tombat to finally get some ores being generated in our base without us having to do anything. I'm so chuffed with that. Right, let's swap him out with... So is he... So he's he's a muscle head, whatever that means. So he's... Yeah, two mining, two gathering, and two logistics. So we can swap him with a cat, which is... One gathering, one mining, and one logistics. So this dude, I think, can carry more than one item or something? I, I don't quite understand how the carrying thing works. Oh, jeez, look at that massive pile of stone over there. Go on, Tomcat. Tomcat? Oh, you know what? I'm just going to call him Tomcat from now on. That's your name now. You're not even a bat. You're a cat. Is it a bit morbid for me to feed the chicken things fried eggs? Is that wrong? That's probably a bit wrong, isn't it? Tombat is finally working. He's actually got us a fair amount of ore already, so I'm quite pleased with that. Is he going to automatically? Yeah, he's going to get some more stuff. That's perfect. So I've got 22 in there. I've also chucked a load in here. Oh, wait, she's already finished them already. Damn, she's quick. All of those because I want to create a high-quality workbench because I've unlocked some stuff. Come on, guys. Come and help. We've got to get this ship built. Right, in this bad boy, I've unlocked some better armor. Gonna need that. Pow. Man's got that Gucci pelt going on right now. And the next thing I wanted to do was create a crossbow, but I need some more nails and ingots for that, so that can wait, that's fine. Okay, and the large common egg is ready for... What the hell? Bro, I never picked you up. Leave me alone. Right, you can actually come back. Right. As I was saying, the large common egg is finally incubated, so let's see what we get. Uh, Grintail. Grintail's eyes light up at the moment anyone enters its territory. So, what does he do? The Grintail, level 2 gathering. He's got some weird double tail going on there. He's definitely the Cheshire Cat. That is, that is definitely a knockoff Cheshire Cat. Next up is the bad ass crossbow. Wait, this can be used to fire arrows. Oh, right. I thought I meant fire arrows. I was about to say, I haven't, on, I haven't got any fire arrows. It's going to take too long. I'll let a lamb do it. So I'm noticing a few of my pals keep getting upset. So if any of you guys have any tips on to how to prevent that or at least get rid of it once it appears, Please let me know down in the comments. That would be most helpful. Okay, I'm feeling pretty geared up to the max. We made some great progress this episode. So I'm going to end it there. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like it. Subscribe, do all that stuff. If you want, you don't have to. It's up to you. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.